once again from my study here at West Craig Hill Drive. Welcome to our midweek meditation. On this March the 16th, we continue to work our way through Lent. We will begin and end with this sentence. Redeem us, O God of Israel, from all our distress. And then we will continue to use Psalm 42 this week. The scripture that is the basis for today's reflection is found in Matthew 20, verses 17 through 23. We will then move on to the prayers of the people and intercessions, the Lord's Prayer, a closing prayer in the sentence with which we began. So let us begin. Redeem us, O God of Israel, from all our distress. And now continue to read from Psalm 42. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul was yearning for you, my God. My tears have become my bread by day and by night. And they say to me all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, for I would go to the place of your wondrous tent, all the way to the house of God, amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng keeping joyful festival. By day, the Lord decrees his loving mercy, and by night, his song is with me, a prayer for the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me, hope in God? I will praise him yet again, my saving presence in my God. And now, reading from Matthew. Now, Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, and on the way he took the twelve aside and said to them, We are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the teachers of the law. They will condemn him to death, and will hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified. On the third day he will be raised to life. Then the mother of Zebedee's sons came to Jesus with her sons, and kneeling down, asked a favor of him. He said, What is it you want? he asked. She said, Grant that one of these two sons of mine may sit at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. You don't know what you are asking, Jesus said to them. Can you drink the cup I am going to drink? We can, they answered. Jesus said to them, you will indeed drink from my cup, but to sit at my right or my left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared by my Father. Which brings us to our reflection. Matthew's reading here is not a pretty picture, but here we see Jesus telling his disciples precisely what to expect for him. Condemnation, mocking, crucifixion, resurrection, they were anticipating glory, redemption, political revolution. That was not what they were getting at all. We place our expectations on Jesus too. We very often focus on the resurrected Christ without paying attention to how he got there. It is a hard path, but a necessary one. So as we continue in this desert of Lent, may we sit with what challenges us in Jesus' story, no matter how uncomfortable we may be with it. Which brings us to the prayers of the people and our intercessory prayers. Sadly, however, we continue to see the Ukrainian people under siege by Russia. So I want to begin with a prayer that the situation begs for. Let us pray. Loving God, your son Jesus Christ wept over Jerusalem. Today, we weep over Ukraine. We weep for those uprooted from their homes and lives. We weep for those cowering in basements. We weep for those who have witnessed death and destruction on their streets. We weep for those separated from parents, from children, from spouses and siblings. We are amazed at the resilience of people seeking to comfort those in need. And so we pray 
for governments opening up their borders so that Ukrainians can have safe passage. We pray for churches and individuals providing food, clothing, and shelter. We pray for medical workers ensuring that the shattered bodies are put back together again. We pray for ordinary Russians de demonstrating and voicing their disapproval of the military actions taking place in Ukraine. May the Holy Spirit give us the willpower to turn our tears into action also. May we, through our words, prayers, and example, pursue the things that make for just peace in the world today, and especially in Ukraine. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Continuing on with our prayers of intercession. In hope of God's mercy we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of our church, that they may be graced with your wisdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle with their faith, that they may find solace in their questions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in need, that they may receive, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may rest in your merciful peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, let us offer together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So let us then pray with this closing prayer. Merciful God, in your Son Jesus, you reveal your gift of compassion. Grant us forgiving hearts and fill us with love that overflows for you and our neighbors. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. And we end with our sentence. Redeem us, O God of Israel, from all our distress. Well, that concludes this week's meditation. Join us on Zoom tonight at 7 o'clock for our Bible study of the Gospel of Luke. And join us on Sunday, March 20th, the third Sunday in Lent, at 12 in the church, if you are able for worship. Easter, as I said last week, continues to be on the horizon. Now, just over five weeks from our away. Have a wonderful day today, and have a happy Patrick's Day tomorrow. My physical therapist reminded me that all people are Irish on St. Patrick's Day. So, indeed, enjoy it. See you again next week.